In China, a young woman is having open heart surgery. But it's unlike anything you'll see in the West. She's still conscious. Because instead of a general anesthetic, this 21st century surgical team are using a 2,000 year old method of controlling pain. Acupuncture. Millions of us now believe that this simple needle has extraordinary powers. I'll find out whether these needles really do have healing powers. And in a groundbreaking experiment, I'll discover something truly astonishing about acupuncture. Scientists and patients seem to be speaking with one voice, that acupuncture works. But that just raises an even bigger mystery. Because so far, there's no proof that needling has any measurable biological effect on the body. To be really convinced that it's working, I need to understand how it can be having its effect. The brain may be the key to acupuncture. If acupuncture works on pain, then it ought to affect the areas of the brain that are involved in experiencing pain. And we're going to devise an experiment to try to measure that. Now, it's hugely ambitious, because of course we've got to be scientific and rigorous and plan it really carefully. But if it does work, we could find powerful evidence that acupuncture is having a real effect on the body. I've called in some of the top people in the field to help. So we're going to devise an experiment together that's trying to work out the effect of needling on the brain. Well, we've made a good start and we've agreed on what test we're going to use. We'll stick the needle in on a well-known acupuncture point just here. And for the real acupuncture, we'll stick the needle in quite deep and do a brain scan of the volunteer. As a control, we're going to just stick the needle in a short distance and twist it, and then do the brain scan. And so, by comparing those two, we ought to be able to see the difference between the real acupuncture and the control. This is a genuine piece of new research. We plan to look deep into the brain during acupuncture to find out, one way or another, whether acupuncture is having a measurable effect on the body. The team are trying to detect the tiniest changes in the brain when the needles are inserted. We've tried as hard as possible to be absolutely rigorous. So we're doing everything we know to make sure that we're really looking only at the effect of the acupuncture needle. I've got a number here for it though. Finally, the experiment begins. A scan is first taken of the brain at rest, the baseline. Then the team scan the brain when the needles are inserted. Three, two, one, start. Part of the excitement for me of this experiment is that it's really bringing together acupuncture and a really rigorous Western scientific way of thinking. And it could completely change the way that we see acupuncture. At last, results day. Now, the results are looking really interesting. But, Hugh, maybe you could just summarise the main findings for us. First of all, with superficial needling, you know, we get a picture in the brain of a certain, this area lighting up, in other words, becoming activated, increased blood flow. That's no surprise. This is just the brain's normal response to the needle being lightly inserted. What we found with deep needling, if we had der chi, the der chi sensation when we needle, that's the aching sensation, what we picked up was deactivation. Areas of the brain here, further back, um, where the, we've, we've coloured that blue. Acupuncture was having a real effect on the brain. 
and it was doing something completely unexpected. It was a result that surprised us all. That reinforces the idea that something quite special is happening, something unique to acupuncture, something physiological. Well, as a neuroscientist, I, I'm particularly interested in activations of the brain, but the surprising thing about this study is that we have deactivations, a decrease in neuronal activity, and that's something I think that neuroscientists have got to take into account. Well, for me, the most extraordinary thing is out of this whole study is that we've got what you might call objective evidence. We've got biological correlates of acupuncture. Something's happening in the brain when you put a needle in. Different things happen with superficial and deep and they're clearly associated with acupuncture and it's something you can actually measure and quantify. Why? Why on earth would just that de chi sensation you know, be associated with deactivations? That we don't know. But when you tie it in with the fact that acupuncturists use de chi, does then these deactivations start to give us the, the key to how acupuncture works? That's what puts a smile on my face. It's just incredible, I think, the way that acupuncturists say what really matters in acupuncture is de chi. And then here we are, you, neuroscientist, is saying, oh, we find that this amazing thing going on in the brain that we don't really understand that well, the deactivation, the being less active than normal, that only seems to happen during de chi. Maybe that's the key to something really interesting. It's been quite a journey for me. I started off pretty sceptical about acupuncture. It just didn't make sense from a scientific point of view. Then I found evidence that it really does work. And then the experiment was just hugely exciting to take a step towards understanding what's going on in the brain. So it's been an astonishing time. And I believe that acupuncture still has a lot to teach us about the way our own brains and bodies work.